two more examples to 6-1, uh, two of them that you have to use the Pythagorean theorem to find x. So let's work on this first one first. Uh, remember that Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this is c, this is b, this is a. So a squared, a is 9, so 9 squared plus b squared, right here, 12 equals c squared, that's going to be x, right there. So, 9 squared plus 12 squared, there we go, plus 12 squared, it's 225. So, 225 equals c squared. But we're not looking for c squared, we're looking for c or x. So, for us to find c, we can take the square root of 225. And the square root of 225 is 15. So C is 15. And that's the X we were looking for. 15 right there. Now the other example, we do, we do have C, we're looking for B or X right here. So this one is A, this one is C, and X is B. Alright, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A is right here, 12 plus B squared, that's we're looking for B. C squared right here, 13, 13 squared. So square 12, just once. So 144 plus B square, square 13, 169. Now I need to solve for B, so take away 144 from both sides. This is zero. So B squared is 169, take away 44, 144, 25. Now you take the square root of 25 to get B. Square root of 25 is five. And that is X equals five right here. Cool.